Taylor Swift has slammed Kim Kardashian for taking her down psychologically and forcing her into hiding during their long-running feud, while subtly branding the reality star and her ex-husband Kanye West as trash. The singer 33, who has been named Time Magazine's Person of the Year, hished on the dispute which started when Kim's then-husband Kanye West wrote a 2016 song to include vulgar lyrics about the rising star. He claimed Taylor had consented to the reference. But, after denying it, Kim also weighed in and released what the pop star described as an illegally recorded phone call between the pair, which she claimed proved otherwise. Taylor has now said that the public fallout said it felt like a career death adding, make no mistake my career was taken away from me. Discussing the aftermath and the brutal toll that it took on her well-being Taylor told the outlet, you have a fully manufactured frame job in an illegally recorded phone call which Kim Kardashian edited, and then put out to say to everyone, that I was a liar. That took me down psychologically to a place I've never been before. I moved to a foreign country. I didn't leave a rental house for a year. I was afraid to get on phone calls. Although she didn't elaborate on where she moved to, Swift began dating British actor Joe Allen in late 2016 and it was widely rumored that she had rented a home in London in order to spend more time with him. During that period, she all but vanished from the public eye, something that she says came as a result of the Kardashian and West fallout. I pushed away most people in my life because I didn't trust anyone anymore. I went down really, really hard. Most of the pop icon's next album reputation released in 2017, was aimed at her experience during the ordeal. But the abundance of snake imagery used in veiled reference to Mama for Kim, now 43, only reignited the Fuhrer. I thought that moment of backlash was going to define me negatively for the rest of my life, she explained. Yet, in the years that followed, Taylor's career has only gone from strength to strength. While many of her adversaries have suffered major setbacks, including Canny, the rapper, 46, recently lost a slew of endorsement deals after a series of anti-Semitic remarks. Elaborating on how life in the limelight can be delicate, Taylor added, Nothing is permanent, so I'm very careful to be grateful every second that I get to be doing this at this level, because I've had it taken away from me before. There is one thing I've learned. My response to anything that happens, good or bad, is to keep making things. Keep making art. However, she took another swing and Kardashian, West, and anyone else who she believes, has tried to stifle her success, remarking, trash takes itself out every single time. But I've also learned there's no point in actively trying to quote unquote defeat your enemies, she said. Trash takes itself out every single time. Taylor's feud with Kim and Canny had been bubbling to the surface as early as 2009 seemingly out of the blue, when 19-year-old Taylor was at the MTV Video Music Awards accepting the Best Female Video Award for You Belong With Me. Suddenly, in the middle of her acceptance speech, Kanye jumped on the stage, grabbed the microphone out of her hands and bellowed, Yo, Taylor, I'm really happy for you, and Emma let you finish, but Beyoncé had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. In a bid to defuse the tension, Beyoncé later called Taylor up on stage when she won Video of the Year for Single Ladies, put a ring on it, and allowed the country music star a moment in the spotlight. But the tension only continued when the father of four humiliated the star once again at the Vmas in 2015. It appeared the pair were getting on as canny joked. You know how many times they announced Taylor was going to give me the award cause it got them